Will it be? Strawberry Sunday. <laughs> this is a bar, mister. <laughs> no place for a kid. Really? Just trying to sweeten up the air in here. It smells like shit. Or more like blood. And that's fine with me. Because what I'm interested in is this rumor I heard. They say that somewhere around here, there's some bar. More like a dive. A place where they'll take someone's life in place of money. Kind of scary. Sorry. Forgive me, pal. Royal straight flush, is it? <laughs> Laying a hand like that could kill a guy. How about I buy you a round? <laughs> <laughs> Next time you open up shop, don't forget to add strawberry sundaes to the menu. Soon I'll pay you for everything I owe you. Oh yeah, no olives, and be sure to make it a large. Don't forget. Are you listening to me, Dante? Didn't you hear me? I'm studying. I may take the occasional odd job here and there, but I've got no desire to babysit some brat. Brat? Sorry, young lady. Maybe in ten years or so, I'll ask you on a date. Hmm. <laughs> And I'll tell you no in ten seconds. Me, I'm only into younger guys. Listen, Dante, she may be a kid, but... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. My apologies. But the young lady standing before you is not just any girl. She's Patty Lowell. The Cinderella girl who's heiress to the Lowell family fortune. Sure doesn't look like it. That's because all this time she's been living as an orphan downtown. I can tell. Kinda like Cinderella, but after the magic wore off. Actually, it's the opposite. The head of the Lowell family passed away. When the will was read, the existence of an illegitimate child came to light. And the lucky winner was our young lady, Patty. Precisely. In other words, the magic is just about to begin. If you like, I could always hire you as my very own personal servant. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, it's been requested that you escort Miss Patty back to the Lowell mansion by 6 p.m. tomorrow. Think you can handle that? That's all? That's all. I won't do it. I've got a pizza on the way. There's no pizza on the way. I stopped by and talked with Andy at the pizza place and told him that till you pay your tab in full, they're not to deliver a single pizza to you. Capiche? You bastard. What right do you have to... Shit. Not again. If you win, I'll pay your tab in full. And if you lose... Fine. All right. I know the routine. Heads. <laughs> You're not much of a gambler, are you? Shut up. Dante, you forgot something. You've got a show to play, right? A show? Don't forget, I'm counting on you. I could 
could come and see your show. I mean, there must not be anyone who comes to see you otherwise, right? Sorry, but my shows are for adults only. So the woman in that picture is coming to your show then, huh? Picture? Well, whatever you do, you should buy yourself a new car. I don't see any romance happening in this car, that's for sure. It's dirty, it stinks, and it's falling apart. Don't you know? When it comes to women, it's not where you take them that's important. It's how you get them there. Dante. This girl's life is mine. Do something about this, bro. You are a lawyer, aren't you? There's nothing that can be done. If the person who sent that letter, Patty Lowell, actually does exist, the fortune belongs to her. You're kidding me. Relax. Take it easy, big bro. If that letter isn't a fake, then Patty Lowell will come here around six o'clock tomorrow evening. That's what I'm worried about. Tomorrow, at six in the evening. That makes exactly one week, doesn't it? <laughs> If Patty Lowell's existence is authentically proven within one week of the death of the Lowell family's head, then the entirety of the family fortune is to go to Miss Lowell. Well, unbelievable that our ever-so-serious brother had an illegitimate child all this time. So, you can look cute when you want to. Is that a picture of your boyfriend? No, it's my mom, you halfwit! And she's a lot prettier than your girlfriend! But... I don't remember anything about her. My mom got sick and died when I was just a baby. That's what the hospital director said. That's why I don't remember anything about my mother. The only thing I have is this picture of her. Wow, that's one pretty lady. That wouldn't be a picture of your mother, would it? Hey, and you're pretty charming yourself. You mind if I sit here? Uh, there are open seats all over the place. Here you go. Oh, thank you. I hope I'm not bothering you. You're not bothering me, but I can't promise that you'll live long. And what is that supposed to mean? I mean, really. Anyone needs some promise like that just because they sit. <laughs> Good grief. That's why I told you. He's dead. Beat to death. Damn. It can't be. Was it you? Over here. Jeez, what is this? You. How about you start telling me what's going on here? Sure, so how about I run this little scenario by you? Uh huh? For the ten seconds or so that this train was in the tunnel, in this car there was those three, me and the girl. And then, our dead friend here. That makes six. First off, the old man. He didn't do it. And the couple there was making out in the dark. And that's how she was. So that only leaves you. No, there was one more person. Or to be more precise, one more thing. <gasps>
head on the tree. Do you know who killed that guy? Who knows? It was a demon. He was killed by a demon, wasn't he? Could... Could a demon be hunting me too? Dante! Dante! Let's go. Checkmate. Damn, I lost again. Uh, ever since we were kids. You've always run out of steam in the closing stretch. And that is why Jenny left you. It's because you got in the way. <laughs> no, that was because you were at fault for jumping to conclusions. Shit. <laughs> but what I'm wondering is why you seem to love that painting so much. Yes. I guess it's because looking at it puts me at peace. And I think when we divide the fortune among us, I'll take the artwork that's here. Me, I'll take cold hard cash. Hey, don't get ahead of yourselves. We know, but we have to be prepared for the worst. That's all we're doing. Welcome to our hotel. Give me your cheapest room. I don't give a damn if it gets sun or not. We'll be out of here first thing in the morning anyhow. One adult and one child. Oh, she's not a child. She's a young lady. What are you doing? Come on, move it. Let's get to sleep. That's my mother. What? My mom. Mister? Yes, what is it? Where can I go to meet this woman? Well... What are you talking about? I thought your mother died. Come on. <laughs> ah, this is a tight fit. Get to bed. Tomorrow's gonna be an early day. I didn't tell you the truth. My mom didn't actually get sick and die. She disappeared. I happened to overhear the hospital director talking about it. My mom was being hunted by a demon, and she didn't want me, a baby, to be in danger, so she put me in the care of the orphanage. Anyone hunted by a demon is as good as dead! Is my mother really dead? Tell me, Dante, am I going to be killed by a demon too? Who knows? <laughs> I don't care about any fortune, and I don't care about my family's inheritance. If I were to get a little money, I'd just want to use it to buy lots of clothes and sweets and stuff like that for the other kids at the orphanage. But then, clothes and sweets and those kinds of things aren't really what they all want. Like me. They just want to see their mothers and their fathers. More than anything. <laughs> You're probably just going to laugh at me. No. Everyone wants to see their parents. Dante? Well, sorry. But I've got a date with some pretty girls in Sandman land. You get to sleep too. Hey, where's my daughter? Daughter? The kid I checked in with. Hmm. I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Bastard. What the hell are you? <laughs> Speaking of hell, you should know I know all about you. Yeah? Then you know that thing won't be enough to kill me, don't you? So, where's Patty? Uh, well, all right. Well, you see right now in the underworld, the four most powerful demons are vying for power. Things are pretty dangerous out here. So who's calling the shots? Huh? Who's the douchebag who told you to go after Patty? Uh. It must be someone from the Lowell family. Someone who doesn't want Patty to claim the inheritance. I have no idea. I'm telling the truth. I'm just one of their grunts. They don't tell me anything at all. Hmm.
sorry, Patty. I won't do anything to make you feel lonely again. <sighs> oh, Mommy, you promise? Because you're about to die, die right, right now, now and your mom's gonna kill you! Actually into lame operas like this now, are you? Dante! Hmm. Uh, I was. I thought my mommy was. But looks like we'll have to wait for a touching finale. <laughs> hey! Sorry, honey, but this show isn't for kids. I'm so sorry, miss, but I'm afraid that it is now time for you to die. Because I was promised I would be greatly rewarded by my masters if I killed you if the others failed to do so. <laughs> Hit the road. Time's up. Brother, we did it. The fortune is ours. This letter was just a bunch of nonsense. You have a guest. A guest? Thank you. And who might you be? Oh, my. That's not funny. Nice to meet you. I'm Patty Lowell. She's what? just a child. No, that child is nothing but a fake. I took every situation into account. Fortunately for me, I was able to find a girl with the same name quite quickly. I had it arranged so that all the media attention would be on her, not me. Thanks to her, my trip here was quite pleasant. Well then, why don't we just hurry and deal with the formalities? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm afraid your claim is invalid, Miss Patty Lowell. Speaking as the lawyer, I regret to inform you that you have renounced your right to the inheritance as you missed the 6 p.m. deadline. You are aware you've missed it, right? Even if it is just by a mere second or two. Really now? In his will, it says within one week of his death. I'm quite sure that my dad will have been dead for exactly one week at 628. And look, I am on time. Will a driver's license suffice for my identification? No. It's no longer necessary. What do you mean by that? Because Patty Lowell's existence will never be confirmed. Uh, brother! And neither will yours. The fortune is all mine, and I'm not handing it over to anyone! Requested I serve as a bodyguard for Patty. Did you think you were making some small atonement for your sins against her? You've got a pretty face, but you're more terrible than those demons. Well, if you were a demon, I'd be able to kill you without thinking twice about it. Okay, if I can't let this go, I'll work off the anger. Guess this will be one hell of a party! <laughs> you. 
That child, please let me take care of her. I want to do what I can to make amends. So, is it all right that you're not staying at the mansion? It's fine. I received compensation. Compensation? Yep, because I'm a little girl who's been scarred from being exposed to the ugly world of adults. And those clothes, are those the compensation? As well as the clothes and sweets for the kids at the orphanage. And all three truckloads! <laughs> That's great. Well done. Huh? Ah, uh, Morrison, you're here. Yeah? Huh? I thought my strawberry sundae would be delivered here by the time I got out of the shower. That strawberry sundae? What? Hey, that was mine! What the <laughs> hell do you think you're doing? This is my place! Let's get this straight. My place. Mine. It was totally filthy and dorky, so I cleaned it and did some cute decorating. Cute's a relative term. I'm more concerned about my goddamn dessert. That's what I charge for my work. Thanks. It was the best Sunday ever. <laughs> The only jobs I get are those that don't pay anything. My debt keeps growing, and now I have to look after some brat on top of it all. On nights like tonight, I like to open up the throttle on my bike and blow off some steam. And if a demon should come my way, well, that would make it just perfect. Don't miss my next mission, Highway Star. is exceptionally sweet tonight. There's no way I'm stopping.
This rain sucks, doesn't it? So, who are you waiting for? Your boyfriend? Your husband? He'll freeze if you hang around here. Hey, why don't you forget about your boyfriend and come with me? I'll find us a warm place. Now I can buy you a nice dinner. Good answer, little lady. Hey, hey wait up. <laughs> What's going on here? There's nothing here. Is that what you think? What's going on here? Why, have you forgotten? That's so insensitive of you, considering you're the very man responsible for this. Recently, there have been a string of women gone missing in Alani City. Each one of them was picked up by some guy and treated to dinner, then spent a night with him at a hotel, and ultimately went missing when he brought them to this abandoned building. <laughs> oh, come on. You think I did this? Give me a break. Do I look like the kind of human being who'd do something like that? You don't look like a human being. <laughs> I prefer you in this form. Associate and I represent the highway department. We've been searching for you for some time now. The female devil hunter. The one we've heard about who takes out any adversary without fail. Miss Lady. And your real name would be... What do you want from me? We might have a little job for you. and spicy salami pizza, no olives? Ugh. Thanks. I'll pay you for everything I owe you at the end of the month. <sighs> pizza again? <sighs> so when do you think clients will start coming today? I suppose. I'd probably better decorate the outside, too. Oh, give me a break. You saw the pizza boy's reaction, didn't you? Nobody who comes here can appreciate your fancy taste. Just put everything back the way it was and shut up. Welcome! Come on in! Hmm. It seems like your sense of style has improved a lot since we last met, hasn't it, Dante? not mistaken would be Patty Lowell. Huh? How do you know? Am I famous or a kind of celebrity or something? The little girl hanging around Devil May Cry has become quite the subject of gossip in this town. <laughs> but it's not like you came all this way just to have a look at this brat now, is it? Mm. What are you here for? It's about some job. Thanks, but no thanks. I see you're cold as always. Because the only jobs you bring me are shit jobs. And they don't pay. That's a fine way to talk. Are you aware of how much money you owe me? Don't you get it? I'm here today to collect. 
You're the detective. You should have figured that out. Oh, lady, I think you're the one who doesn't get it. I'm so deep in debt, I can't even keep track. I couldn't pay you back now, even if I wanted to, which I don't. Well, I was aware of that at any rate. What can you do? How about a bet? If I put the eight ball in, you take the job I got for you unconditionally. Are you game? You can never do things a simple way, can you? It's a deal. And if you miss, you forgive my debt and pay me 20000 in cash. Done. You should just be a hustler. You'd make more cash, don't you think? Just hitting a ball doesn't do it for me. I have a need to annihilate and destroy. So? Who's the poor son of a bitch this time? Demons. Of course. <laughs> What the hell is this? There's no way in hell these morons can be the demons you were telling me about. Look, as far as the highway department is concerned, these guys are real demons. Are you scared? Don't mess with me. Why would a demon hunter waste time taking out a bunch of bikers? Hmm, and that's exactly why I'm giving the job to a jack of all trades like you. Because I don't know what the highway department was thinking, but they came to me with the job, so I... The hell with this? I'm going home. Huh? What's wrong? Can't use swords or guns when dealing with humans. In a way, they're more of a pain in the ass to deal with than real demons. And to make matters worse, they won't listen to a goddamn word I say. Bye. <laughs> I mean, really, who needs words or weapons to deal with these pansies? Follow me. Well, is he here yet? No luck! Might as well just forget about What? It. I dare you to say that again. Uh -oh. Say it! Knock it off! Who do you think you are, honey? I'm not interested in talking to you guys. Where's your leader? What the hell is your problem? I'm Vincent, the leader. What do you want? Don't mean to bust the party, but you guys need to hit the road. What are you talking about? We do what we want, where we want! See? Like I said, talking to losers who don't even know what a pain in the ass they are is a waste of time. Bye. What did you say? I'm sorry about the inconvenience to you guys. Would you let us do our thing for now? There's this asshole that I'm looking for that I have to fight. My older brother ran against him three weeks ago. And got killed. This guy's a legend on the highway. And everyone who's run against him is dead. And come hell or highway, I will avenge my brother. So you and your girl here need to move on or else. <sighs> what a load of crap. If you ask me, your brother getting killed racing others around is dumb enough. But you're dumber than he is for trying to get revenge for his death. What did you say? Hold on. If you want to pick a fight so bad, why don't you race him? Oh. If you lose, you and your crew leave this place quietly. Hey, lady, what do you think you're doing? It's fine, isn't it? If you win, your job's finished, and the money will be all yours. Wait a damn minute, I'm not- This guy you're talking about, his name's Red Eye, correct? <gasps> Well, if you race him, chances are this red eye will probably show up, won't he? Maybe. I don't need it. Didn't think you would. Me either. Hey, dude, what are you doing? That's crazy. And you? What are you up to exactly? No, oh, come on now. Don't say it like that. All I'm doing is trying to take care of you so you don't end up starving to death. Shit. 
In for a penny, in for a pound. I guess I have to stick around a little longer. Here. Probably won't be needing this. Probably not. At least not right now. avenging your brother if you ride that slow. Shit! Look at you! This race is all mine! See you back at the sand, you dickhead! Got nitros, idiot. Follow your brother. <laughs> uh, I should have known. That was her plan all along. All right, then. <laughs> What the hell do you think you're doing? You called me because you knew you couldn't take this thing out. Not on your own, anyway. Well, if you already knew that, then what are you waiting for? Go get him! You make it sound so easy. What's wrong? Is it too hard for you? No, easy as can be.
Haven't you learned that speeding causes accidents? <laughs> I'm all about a one-day work week, little drummer girl. And I should be getting paid for that recent job any day now. When you say recent job, do you mean the devil on the motorcycle thing? Yep. After all, I am the one who ended up getting rid of the highway demon. And ladies negotiating with the highway department to get us a big wad of cash. There we go. I was waiting to hear from you. Oh, about the money. What? You added it to my debt? Yeah, of course you and I got paid for taking care of old Red Eye, but there might have been a few other charges, like repairing that city bridge you tore up. What? Our pay? Well, naturally, I'll just deduct it from what you owe me. What? It's a goddamn... Shit, that woman. You're the most unlucky guy I've ever met, you know that? Shut up. That lady friend of yours told me that your office was down here, so I thought I'd drop by to say thanks. So thank you, man. If I'd kept on like I was, I'd be dead too. For some reason, I thought I heard him, the voice of my brother saying, it'd be a waste for you to die. I'm done chasing the memory of my brother. From this day on, I'm gonna ride for me and me alone. That's why I gotta ask. Would you please raise me just one more time? Let's make a little bet. A bet? If none of the balls go in, I'll race you. But if I sink the eight ball... The eight ball? Then you buy me dinner.
There are people out there who would say that there's nothing more important than love. But is love really that great? There are women who, because of love, get chased around by men. And there are men that, because of love, get killed by women. To pull that down, for love to be so great, there's got to be something else behind it that's even greater. But I'm not going to tell you what that is. It's not my style. Check out the next mission. Not love. If I miss my curfew, Father will yell at me again. Are you okay there? Um, yeah. I'm okay. I think I might have just sprained it a little, that's all. Just stay still. What? I want you to try standing up. It doesn't hurt anymore. That's good. Uh, I can put my shoes on myself. There you go. What did you do? Was that some trick? Or magic? <laughs> Bye. Please wait. What's your name? I'm Bradley. <gasps> Bradley. Can we meet again? I'm so sorry, Brad. Angelina, I forbid you to see that man anymore. Why? Brad is such a good person. I don't care. You are not to meet him. And you'll stay in this room until you promise me that you won't. <sighs> this is for your own good. I'm counting on you. I understand, sir. Hey, keep it down. You can mess around with that broken TV all day, but it's not like some genie's gonna pop out and fix it for you. <sighs> and today's is the final episode. Ah, well, that's too bad. Me? I'm bummed because my nap's been interrupted. <laughs> Go and buy a new one now! <laughs> if I had the cash. How in the world do you blow through all that money so fast? 
I've got a devil woman that's taken all my money and a tight-fisted bastard for an agent. You can look for some change in the couch if you want. Hey, who you calling tight-fisted? Ah, uh, you here with some more jobs that won't make me any more money? Nope. You know me. I only bring you the jobs that pay out. On the condition that they're done right. <clears throat> hey, Morrison, can you fix a TV? A TV? It's broken! And today's the last episode of Valero in Spring! You got your car here today, Morrison? Yeah. <sighs> I'll take the job if you let me get some sleep on the way. I've been losing sleep due to that broken TV. What are you waiting for? Let's go. I don't care where, just as long as I don't have to hear her whining anymore. Good day, miss. Uh, you're not going to fix the TV, Morrison? I need my fix! You can have Dante buy you one with the money he makes from this job. Wait, Morrison! That won't be in time for the last episode of Bolero and Spring! Hey, you jerks! Come back here! Miss, your father wanted me to tell you your meal is ready. I don't want anything to eat. Please, miss. If you don't eat something, I'm going to be in trouble with your father. Oh, this is a pretty swank pad. What kind of racket does he run to afford something like this? He's the mayor of Capulet City, so try to be nice. Gentlemen? Hello. Sorry I'm late. That meeting dragged out longer than I thought it would. Thank you so much for coming. I'm Mike Hagel. I'm Morrison. Nice to meet you. <sighs> Look, Counselor, how about we all cut the formalities and get down to business before I fall asleep again? That's him. You've got my word, he's good. Even if he's a little rough around the edges. I want you to kill this man. Please, kill him. I've got a daughter, my only child, Angelina. My wife died a long time ago, and since then I've raised my little darling all on my own. My daughter means everything to me. And this Brad guy is planning on taking my daughter away from this town and from me. I won't allow this worthless drifter to just run off with my daughter because he feels like it. Surely you gentlemen can understand that. I mean, it's my only child, my baby girl. And so, you want to kill him? Well, that sure makes for a grand story. Turn it into a soap opera and Patty would love it. I smell ratings. Um, a miss! You know the rules. I should at least be able to use the washroom alone. Haven't you heard there's some killer running around loose in Capulet City? It's been all over the news. Had your head under a rock or something? My TV's broken, remember? Oh yeah, I forgot. At any rate, there's been a lot of ugly little incidents around here. This is it? These murders are so hideous, so gruesome, there are even people saying that the culprit isn't human. So, he's not human. These random assaults started happening right around the time this Brad guy showed up. So, you're saying that this Brad isn't just a murderer, but a devil in disguise. That's a little hard to swallow. I don't buy it. I saw it with my own eyes. There's no doubt about it. He's a demon. This job's right up your alley, don't you think, Dante? I'm begging you, kill this brat! Let's run away 
together, please. What's wrong with you, darling? Try to calm yourself down and tell me what's going on. Brad, listen to me. I think my father has hired someone to kill you. To kill me? But why would he try to kill me? Because of your strange power. My father thinks you're a devil. He must have seen you do something. I don't know what. Does he now? We can run away. Let's leave here. My dear Angelina. I'm sorry, but I can't let you get wrapped up in all of this. But I... I don't want you to worry about me in the slightest, Angelina. I'm going to be all right, I promise you. Someday your father will understand too. But Brad... You should be going home now. I'm glad I could see you. Mind if I grab a seat? Huh? Yeah, I don't mind. Go right ahead. I'll take a beer. And a pizza. Any kind, as long as it doesn't have any olives. Go about your reading. Don't mind me at all. Oh, uh, thanks. I believe I will. What? You still can't find Angelina? Don't even think about coming back here until you do. Is she at that greasy bastard's place again? I offer you my deepest apologies, sir. This is all because I took my eyes off her. Please. Miss, you're back. Father, I... Uh... Do you understand me? From now on, your meals will be brought to your room and you'll be watched everywhere you go. Oh, my Brad. What's this book you're all into? It's a romance novel, actually. Hmm. Any good? Yeah, really good. One person's love for another is a wonderful thing. True love is a thing of beauty. <laughs> you find that strange? No. One beer. Well, it sure took you long enough to give me just a beer. And my pizza? They're making it now. Damn. Drink up. Uh, yeah, to you. <sighs> By the way, you seem kind of like a drifter. Where are you from? Okay, you don't have to answer if you don't want to. Well, I'm gonna be on my way now. Here's your pizza. Sorry to keep you waiting. Hey, there's all of us on this thing. Of course there are. Damn it. Everyone has been saying that the gate will open tonight. <laughs> will it now? But to leave the living world like this would be such a shame. <laughs> so I guess it's you then who's responsible for that string of murders. I'm very fond of the warm and tasty blood of the living ones. Who did that? Did you follow me? Eating a large pizza in five minutes. That's a new personal record for me. Don't you mess with me! Oh, that's some handshake you got there. You're as strong as I'd heard. That almost makes it sound like you know all about me. I've been in the living world for over a month now. 
I've heard the rumors about Dante, the Devil Hunter. So I guess I can take that as a confession that you're not human, right? Yes. Well, then I guess you've got no objections. No. When I tell you the truth, I have no intention of running away. But there is one thing that I would like to ask of you. What's that? I heard that you're a half-breed, born from the union of a human and a demon. If that's so, can you tell me? Were your parents in love? Was there a love between human and demon? Who knows? You always hear stories about the lovers. They look like they were made for each other, but inside their hearts are as cold as ice. That's not what I... But I think a lot of those couples truly loved each other, deep inside their hearts. You think so? Was that all you wanted to say? Yeah. I almost thought you were going to try and pull a surprise attack on me. I know I can't defeat you. You're kind of a wimp for being a demon, you know that? <laughs> Even though I'm a demon, there's no way I could vanquish an opponent like you. Besides, my role here is finished. I'll be leaving. What do you mean by that? Tonight my master will arrive. He will come from the demon world into this plane. I was summoned by a human to prepare the way. I have done this bidding. My job is over now. And why are you telling me this exactly? Maybe because I want you to put an end to all of this. My master is greedy. I'm sure that he will try to devour this entire city. That cafe with the wonderful coffee. And the hill with such a beautiful view of the setting sun. Everything. And Angelina too? What should I do? I don't want to lose her. She was so kind to me. I've always been treated so cruelly in the demon world. But she'd smile at me. And I don't want to think about the possibility of her being devoured by my master. But I'm... I'm just one demon. I don't have the power to defy my master. It's true. You're pretty pathetic. <laughs> For a demon. But if you can love Angelina that much, you'll, you'll be, be able, able to live as a human. A uh, human? You mean it? Get up and let's go. Got a little welcome for your friend when he comes to town. Father? Father, what's happened? Father? Father! Father! Don't move. If you had just stayed in your room like a good girl, you could have died without having to feel fear. You... why would you do this? Soon a powerful demon will be summoned to this city by the ritual I have performed. Together we shall destroy this world! <laughs> I guess I knocked a little too hard. I had a bad feeling about you from the moment I saw you with the mayor. But you're too late, I'm afraid. Angelina! Brad! Mr. Mayor, hold on! What are you doing? Are you actually planning to betray Belfagor? <laughs> <laughs> You're already too late! The great Belphegor will be here any moment now! <laughs> I'm 
sure it must have been a long, hard trip for you. It's too bad entry to this world is off limits for the likes of you. So I'm just gonna have to ask you to leave. tried it on a wound as serious as this. I'll do everything I can, though. What do you think you're doing to me, you demon? Do you really think that by doing this for me, I'm going to allow you to see my daughter? Father! Don't worry yourself. That is not what I'm concerned about, sir. No. I'm doing this simply because I don't want to see Angelina sad. Sorry, Mr. Mayor. But it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to grant your request. Brad understands love. He's going to make it just fine as a human being. And the only things I personally choose to exterminate are demons. Hey, Morrison, didn't you get it fixed yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how much longer am I going to have to wait? Just wait a little bit longer, okay? I've almost got it here. By the way, I've been meaning to tell you, Dante. It's a nice story about how those two finally got her dad's approval. But I don't see how your passing up the money should result in my fixing this TV. My days of TV repair are long gone. Less talking and more fixing! My afternoon soap opera is about to start! <laughs> you fixed it! I'll just deduct my repair fees from your next payment. <sighs> Whatever. Oh, for the love of... At this rate, you'll never get your debt paid off. No matter how many good jobs they bring you. But you seem happy, Dante. Even though you usually do nothing but complain when you don't get your money. You complain a lot. Every now and then, there are days like this. I sure hope those two will be happy, don't you? <laughs> I've always had pretty bad luck with women. I'd be lucky if they just beat me up. But they also do things like stick swords in my stomach and shoot me in the forehead. If I wasn't who I am, I'd probably be dead. Damn. To make matters worse, the women that do those things are the very women that I can't seem to boot out of my life. I wonder when my luck with women will improve. Next mission, Rolling Thunder.
get out of here. Oh God! What is that thing? What is that? Didn't you hear me? Get out of here now! Or perhaps your life doesn't matter to you. Move your ass! The fun's just getting started. <laughs> I guess I'm not going to be able to use that anymore. It was terrible. Is that woman really a demon? There's no mistaking it. The town fell into ruins soon after that woman arrived. There are people who saw her commanding demons. My parishioners, members of the faithful. Go on. And I saw it too, my dear. That woman manipulating lightning and burning people of our town to death. I've been looking for you. So you're the devil laying waste to this town. Why don't you take your true form? That's when you're at your strongest, right? <laughs> you don't think you're a little cocky? So you prefer to remain in that form, do you? Well, regardless of the form you take, I'm gonna hunt you down and kill you! Damn it! <laughs> I'll wipe that smile right off your face.
Well, it looks like my job won't be over until I take that little blonde bitch out. Ridiculous. Who the hell's gonna wear anything that expensive? With that much money, I can drink all night at Cindy's bar and still come home with some change. Damn. That sure was a stupid bet I made. Huh? Thinking about dressing up in drag? Let me know if there's anything that you think would look good on me. God, your jokes are always so lame. So, what do you want? If you're here to collect money from me, I don't need that right now. Relax. I just dropped by today because I have something to ask you. The truth is that yesterday the demon I was supposed to bag got away from me. Poor bastard. So I guess you're gonna be hunting him until he's dead, huh? Well, he's got my sympathy. You wouldn't know anything about a she-devil that commands lightning, would you? Lightning? Yeah, though she looked human. Don't have a clue. But I can tell you, there's a ton of demons out there in the world that could totally pass for human. Huh. Oh, yeah, and she was packing heat, too. Well, demons do have fingers. That's all you need to pull a trigger. Hmm. You got a point there. It's just that this she-devil kept shooting at me with a gun in each of her hands. Just like you. Later. This chick sounds interesting. You should introduce us. On the slim chance you're able to catch her, that is. And I could teach her how to use those guns of hers. That won't happen. Next time I see her, she's dead. <laughs> you're one scary lady. Uh, hey, little lady. Are you leaving already? Yeah, gotta go. Maybe the next time we'll hang out and play together. Sure. to you. Did you forget how old you are? There aren't any clothes for kids in there. Look here. If you're going to buy me clothes, I want to get some cute stuff. Remind me why I should have to buy you cute clothes. You promised you would. You said if you lost to me at cards, you'd buy me some clothes. I didn't say I'd buy them for you today. That's not fair! You have any idea how much those clothes cost? Didn't you just pay yet for tracking down that guy? That guy ended up being just some runaway lizard. You can imagine what that pays. No, I can't. Well, it turned out that it pays three pizzas and two strawberry sundaes. Pizza again? So if you want clothes like that, you'd better do something like find a rich guy to marry. But this is just a regular fashion magazine. It's not like it's only the expensive brand names in Are here. Are you telling me little kids really wear stuff that costs this much? That's how it is for girls. You don't understand anything about girls. Lightning. <laughs> Devil may cry. So it was you. I knew it. So what's the big game here after this time? Actually, this target isn't big at all. Just about the size of a human. What? You go and shoot them with a gun like that, and there'll be nothing but minced meat. That's fine if you're looking to become a butcher. Well, I doubt that I'll end up using it. But just in case, it's good to have. Hey! Huh? Is that good-looking woman out there someone you know? <gasps> She's gone. I know I saw her, yeah? So that's revenge for yesterday, is it? You don't do things half-assed. So what What in the hell did you do to her? Nothing yet, really. We're just having a little spat, that's all. Huh? Hmm. Looks like I had better change before I go to work. Damn. Thanks. I think I'm gonna take this with me. 
That woman always gives me the heebie-jeebies. Though the other chick must be something, too, to be spatting with her. You had better get ready, demon bitch. All these expenses. I should bill that priest for this stuff. But I doubt he'd cover it. Excuse me. I'd like to try this stuff on. I'm sorry, but there's another customer in the dressing room right now. Would you wait just a moment, please? What awful style. <gasps> uh. A demon out shopping? My, aren't we full of ourselves. Get the hell out of here. I'd hate to go at it with you and destroy this nice boutique and all the designer clothes. <laughs> All this? You want to purchase all of these items? This is all from this year's collection. I think you will look fantastic. Can't shake it. Feel like I'm losing a fight. Hello! I need some clothes from that rack by the goddamn front door. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? You let that dangerous devil get away! If things continue like this, the damage could spread to other towns as well. She's terrible. That's what you say, but I didn't think she was all that terrible. What are you saying? Do you know how many of our brethren she's killed? What will she do next? All right, I will admit, she is pretty strong. I even bought this thing. Oh, take care of that demon as quickly as you can. Use whatever means you have to. Gotcha. Besides, looks like the bitch is here anyway. <laughs> We just keep running into each other today. I may have let you get away at the boutique, but this time I'm gonna kill you for sure. I don't care if this church falls to the ground. Not to mention I'm a little pissed off at how much these clothes cost that I had to buy because of you. <laughs> I don't like being ignored. You're in the way. You should get out of here and say your prayers. He's out of the way. Now we can do as we like. A two-gun toting demon bitch. It's not often I run into enemies that I'm so adverse to losing to! <gasps> 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 Well, it looks to me like your clothes have been ruined again. <gasps> but your body seems to be holding up quite well. <laughs> so I guess you'll have to allow me to use this. You bitch, you shot my hair! What's the matter? Feels like I'm just fighting another human. If you're gonna continue like that, you should go find some underground club or something. Your little show could probably bring in some money. Dante, that's the bitch that 
that late. Am I? What time is it? Too bad it doesn't look like there's a clock around here. I told you not to be late. You never did listen. I'm here, aren't I? Just a minute. I mean, everything's fine since we're both okay. But what would you have done if one of us was killed? What about then? Relax. Neither of you seem like you're gonna go and die that easy. Hello? Hmm? What is going on here? What do you mean, what's going on here? <sighs> Are you two playing some sort of joke on me? You better not tell me there were cameras rolling all along. I don't watch reality TV shows, and I'm not gonna be on one. Um... And who are you? You can speak, huh? Are you telling me you were playing mute? Seems that you're quite the actress. Don't just stand there. Say something, will ya? Hey, don't look at me. You're the one who opened your big mouth. And it looks like you were having some fun with that little misunderstanding. Oh, well, yeah, maybe, but... Misunderstanding? Would you explain this thing from the beginning so I understand it? Yeah, I'm sorry I had to put you on. You can call me Trish, and I'm Dante's partner. Ex-partner. Nowadays we work independently. That's not a very nice way to put it. It was your idea, wasn't it? That we'd probably work more efficiently apart? Are you pouting? Maybe you're lonely being all on your own. Don't talk down to me like I'm a kid. I totally dig being on my own. Plus, I can eat all the pizza I want. Didn't I tell you for years to go easy on the pizza? And don't tell me that's all you're eating every day. God, you're pathetic, you know that? Please don't talk to me like you're my mom. You're not the maternal type. <laughs> That's enough. Look, you better explain this. I don't give a damn about your personal life. Start talking. Oh, if you're feeling a little bit jealous, you should just let yourself express that. Jealous? You think I'm jealous? This bastard's a strawberry sundae freak. He eats pizza every day, and he never pays back the money he borrows from me or anybody else. How exactly am I supposed to fall for him? Oh, so I'm wrong. Take a wild guess. Say something, you. Like I said, don't look at me. <laughs> Why didn't you just explain things to me right away? Then we wouldn't have had to ruin our clothes and hair, right? Well, I think you understand that in this business, sometimes people want to test themselves against a powerful enemy. Can't blame her since recently you and I haven't been getting that much of a workout from our opponents. And at any rate, when I first saw you running around, you seemed like you'd give me more fun than my quarry. Your quarry? Why don't you come on out? You've been watching us all along, haven't you? I see. I'm here at the request of another person. Since this strange priest showed up, this town has become a den for demons. And he felt like he was in danger, so he hired me. What a clever little father. Don't misunderstand me. Putting an end to you three do-gooders will be easy. Just thought I'd like to avoid the hassle of doing so. I always thought this guy was a little weird. But I wouldn't have guessed he was a demon. Now that you know me for what I am, I have no choice. It's a hassle, but you're all going to have to die here. <laughs> Tell me, Dante, what do you think? Unfortunate for him. Since this horny little devil is new to town, he probably doesn't know what we do for a living. I could almost cry knowing this dork had me fooled. Boo-hoo, boo-hoo. Enough with your jokes! To this time. I've got a lot of them that I'm following. I guess it depends on them. If you get sick of it, you can always come back here. Why? That's uncharacteristically kind of you. But for the time being, I think I want to travel around a bit. Take care of yourself, all right? You too, baby. Let me drive you part way. Jump on. <laughs> nice suit. Looks good on you. Don't suppose you did a little shopping recently? Of course I did. And I sent him the bill. You did? What a coincidence. What do you mean by that? I got a dress. Good for you. <laughs> um, are you 
Dante. I was told to bring you this bill. We take cash, check, or charge, sir. No, you got the wrong guy. No, no, no. I'm sure this is the place. Two separate women gave me the address. Two women? <gasps> what? They what? <laughs> Would you please pay this? Just, just a damn minute. I don't have any money now. Well, I need to be paid. You can't give me money if I don't have it. What do you want me to do? I can't just let you off with that. What is this for in the first place? What did they buy? Clothes. Clothes? Why the hell would clothes cost this much? I hope Dante won't be mad that I bought some clothes. Well, it should be fine. He's the one who said he'd buy them for me. Every now and then, there's someone who likes to sneak around and spy on me. I don't know what anyone gets out of following around and investigating a normal, upright citizen such as me. Must be a boring job. I gotta tip my hat off to him. But if anyone is going to follow me around, they better be ready for all the danger that comes with it. Because there are plenty of demons that like to follow me around too. Make sure you don't miss my next mission. In private. Available only on DVD. Level 2. Hey, so what's the problem, baby? Get it. Well, that was fast. I figured you'd be coming in sometime soon. <clears throat> Kinda hard to believe you've been waiting for me too long. I missed you so much. Freddy, could you come here? Hey, hang on. Cindy! Hush! If you keep bothering me, I'll never get any work done. What's your problem with me? To be honest, I don't really care for guys who keep trying to chase after me. Actually, I'm the type of girl who likes to do the chasing. What are you talking about? So tell me what kind of guy you're looking for then, baby? A real he-man. I like him wild, sexy, and intelligent. He's still kind to women and always relaxed, and he's got to be to die for cute. A real head-turner. Just like Dante is. Dante? Him. Huh? <sighs> if you could become just a little more like Dante, I might think about going out with you. <laughs> hey, Cindy! That guy? She thinks he's a real man? <sighs>
So just what does Cindy see in a guy like that anyway? <gasps> She's not here! She's not here! What gives? Where'd that woman go? Assist you. Hey, dude! Hey! What's up? Cindy, forget about that guy. My God! What happened to your face? No! Cindy, listen up, and listen good. That Dante guy is no real man. He's nothing but a pervert. Forget you ever met him. What? I saw it with my own eyes. He went right into the girl's restroom. What gives? <sighs> what are you talking about? Cindy! What I'm saying is, he picked up some girl, took her to the woman's restroom, and... <laughs> oh! Hey, what gives? God damn it. Damn it, I swear I'm going to get the dirt on you. Business as slow as always, eh? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's just see it. Now, take it easy. Look. Here we go. You watch your back. <laughs> like you give a shit. give you a little message. You guys don't need to be messing with a little thing like this now, do you? <laughs> no way. He's going to take on the Mafia. from that guy. He's a heartless, cold-blooded killer. It doesn't matter even if it's the Mafia or whoever. That dude will even kill people for money. Mm. It wouldn't matter if you had nine lives. 
If you're with that guy, you'll just get used up, Cindy. Trust me. You'll wind up riddled with holes. He said riddled with holes. We should tell someone, Ted. No, wait. You're misunderstanding me. Cindy! Just go home. Oh, don't be that way. <laughs> The door isn't even locked. This is what I should have done in the first place. I don't care what it is. I just need to find something that will land this freak in the slammer. I can make your wish come true. my imagination. No, I need a red flash. You despise Dante, right? Me too. You gotta let me get out of here. You? What the hell can you do? I'll make this first a while, little boy. Let me out of here. Don't get to do it. Your arms have me. I'm the one you need. Yeah. I'm the one who found this guy, so get lost. Hey. Let me out of here! I don't think you've got the right to ask, since you're the one who's broken into someone's house. I... that's... <sighs> Just relax, my friend. I won't tell Dante about this. Ah. You want to know. Know the real truth about Dante, do you not? Huh? If that's the case, I've got something for you. What gives? What is this? Don't ask. Just take it and go. When you open it, you'll know what Dante really is. <laughs> Dante, you're home, aren't you? Morrison told you. It sounds like you've made a bunch of money, haven't you? It's true, Cindy. You gotta believe me. I promise. I swear I saw it with my own eyes. <laughs> that dude isn't normal. He's crazy. There's something really weird about him. He's weird? You broke into Dante's place. And when Dante wasn't even there. That? Well, that was just because... It's because I wanted you to know that he's dangerous, baby. Shame on you. Uh. Why did things turn out like this? Damn it, that hurt! What the? Damn it! Trying to make me look stupid. But not anymore. Well, it's just a little kitty. It's all right. Come on. It's not like I'm going to eat you or anything. <gasps> Who is it? Who's that over there?
here. Nice time in there, you dickhead. Seems that lately I've had nothing to fight but a bunch of weaklings. I've been wanting to go up against someone that can give me a little more of a workout. <laughs> Barking no bite. It's true! You gotta believe me, Cindy! Cindy, I listen! Think... I saw that dude hack a demon in two with this big sword that he carries. Listen! He's a demon. It's true. That guy's a demon himself. A demon, I tell you. That's the only explanation for all of this. Uh. I cannot believe you. It's afternoon and I'd swear you're still asleep and dreaming. Nonsense. I didn't dream up any of this. How can I make you believe me? Come in, Dante. The usual. Down. <sighs> so, who's that? Your little boyfriend? Mm. Well, something about him made me actually think about maybe dating him. But he's been acting like a stalking psychopath lately. Maybe he kind of misunderstood that comment I made the other day. I mean, the only thing I meant was that I wish he was a little more like you are, Dante. It looks like he took what I was saying totally out of context. And now he says I should stay away from you because you're a demon. <laughs> well, he's got things about half right. Huh? And get a load of this, Dante. He swears he saw you kill a demon last night. Isn't that crazy? I mean, it's so stupid. It's just that I wanted to be the one to chase him. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll be right with you. That's right. You can be a little devil, you know that. Who's the devil? You'd be a lot better off giving me money to pay off what you owe me, rather than have me take it from you because you lost it pool. Are you saying you're really that far in debt? I mean, and some weird old man's been spying on your office lately, too. A weird man? Mm-hmm. But he seemed like a total wussy wimp, so I got rid of him pronto! That reminds me. There was some visitor in your office when I stopped by recently, too. A visitor? God damn it!
You ready? No. Because it looks like now, this party's just getting started. No! no. Stop! Just a minute. I think we got something. If you're gonna skip town, you should at least let her know about it. If you don't, she can't chase you, even if she wants to. What do you mean by that? Why don't you ask her yourself? You mean you came to just to tell me that? <laughs> I'm just a demon, man. I just hadn't had my fill of fun yet. Dante! What are you? I mean, who are you? Who knows? Maybe you should try asking God or someone. I'll have what he's having. Huh? I said I want one of those, too! All right. Freddy, one strawberry sundae! Yeah? So what, are you planning on eating with me? Mm-hmm. There you go. <laughs> okay. One strawberry sundae with extra berries. Enjoy. <laughs> Kind of making me lose my appetite, dude.
I'm not sure when it started, but before I knew it, I was always listening to her songs. Tougher than any man, softer than any woman. She sings the sadness in human hearts. If I ever get to meet her, I'll probably thank her. Because she made me realize that even I had enough emotional depth to understand songs. Keep on playing. Next mission, Rock Queen. As payment for the potion that would grow the princess legs, the witch demanded the princess's voice, which was peerless in beauty. So the mermaid princess had her little tongue cut out by the witch and could use her voice no more. Every time I drop by, you're further and further in debt. Uh, what do you expect? Everyone leaves me bills instead of a damn paycheck. Again. You're kidding me. What 
some kind of adult spends all their time sleeping or eating pizza. It's pathetic. <laughs> Just find a way to fix it, will you? Don't be ridiculous. You're just too violent. You've never been able to handle things, whether they're simple machines or good-looking women. You need charm school, my friend. I totally agree. Yeah. The only way this thing's gonna get fixed is by getting parts for it. Or you could find some way to get a different one altogether. But I bet that would be pricey. This jukebox of yours looks vintage to me, and that's gonna cost you. There's a lot of freaks into vintage stuff out there, you know. And you're one of them. Hey, Dante, why is this the only record you have framed? I played that record more than any other, but it got scratched. I framed it because I couldn't bring myself to just throw it away. If you like it so much, I don't understand why you don't just buy another one. Look at it and you'll see why. I don't know the name of the singer or the song. Back in the day, that was one of those records in that jukebox. Mm. It's no use. It'd be a hell of a lot quicker to just go out and buy a new one, Dante. Yeah, like I got the money to do that. Of course you don't. All right, then. It doesn't have anything to do with demons, so I was planning on handing it off to someone else, but... What are you talking about? Talking about a job, of course. There's this abandoned building up north, and a secret room was discovered in it. Luckily, the room was airtight, so its contents were in good condition. A ton of never-played records were miraculously preserved there. The treasure hunters who got wind of this came to me, because they're looking for a bodyguard. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Why would they need a bodyguard? Well, Dante, it's your job to find out. Mr. Dante, thank you very much for accepting this position. We feel much more at ease knowing we have a man of your talent serving as our bodyguard. I'm afraid that our profession is simply treasure hunting. We are admittedly quite lousy when it comes to fighting. So this counts as treasure hunting? It certainly does. Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't you accept this job because you thought the goods were going to be worth it? There are a lot of people out there willing to pay enormous sums of money for priceless antiques. Sometimes people will even kill the owners to get their hands on what I find. Some people must really dig their antiques. Hey, Tim. We should liven things up. Why don't you play something? Yeah, you bet. What's that? Oh, you mean this? Now this is something special. It's by the legendary rock queen, Elena Houston. First record she ever recorded, and it's all mine, the real thing. But this record is filled with her soul, the purest thing there ever was. Really? I don't suppose you'd be interested in playing that one for me. But... Yeah, let's give it a spin. It's good to have a listen to it every now and then. Not bad. Strikes you right to the core. Doesn't it? Her voice is kind of husky, but it's really good. Did you know she started writing the tunes and lyrics for these while she was just a musician on the street? You seem to know your stuff. Yeah, well... Well, time for me to get to work. Oh, no you don't. Let it play. You gotta have music if you want to party.
始めろい Thanks a lot there, man. There's no doubt about it. That was Elena back there. Elena and I were childhood friends. I was just a plain good-for-nothing kid, but Elena was different. She was this brilliant singer. How can I say it? Her voice had this strange power that drew people in. And I was one of those who were just spellbound by the very sound of it. I had this intense desire to have more people listen to her songs. Even if it was just one more person. In the beginning, all that she had was a guitar. But before long, she got a band together and put out shows in the streets. And soon the whole city got to know her voice. And me, I just played dress up, put on the suit and the tie, went all around town making the sales pitches. I needed to help her any way I could, but the road was paved with so many rejections, with no backing from anyone. Just putting out a single record was further away than a dream. But it's a dream we had together. How long am I gonna keep having to do this crap? Hey, take it easy. We just have to be patient. What we need to do is grind away at building a bigger fan base however we can. Grind away. Grind away. I swear you're always like this. Always the business. Always sales. I want to be famous. Uh, I've had it with this. Uh, take it easy. The next show is going to be at a bigger venue, I promise. The next uh, show? Uh, How many damn shows has it been now? I'm goddamn sick of this. Uh, <laughs> The only thing I want is for more people to lose themselves in my music. That's the only thing I care about. That's all I want. <laughs> Why can't you understand that, Tim? Elena, please. Then suddenly, all of our work finally paid off for something. We got our shot at a major debut and she gradually got more gigs. When we finally got that first album released, something we wanted for so long, we started getting popular. But these really strange things started to happen to all of the fans who were listening to her records. What strange things? Oh! <laughs> The fans lost themselves in excitement, and in the end, all kinds of people started committing suicide or even murdering one another for tickets to her concerts. Elena! Elena! Elena, yeah! Elena over hey, here! Elena! And then Elena herself began to change. that Elena's spellbound fans went crazy and out of control the further she withdrew from me and the other guys in the band. And then she just...
I think she's searching for this record. I believe that she might be looking for her own songs. It sounds crazy, I know. So tell me, Dante, what is the Devil Hunter going to do with her? The woman you knew as Elena Houston isn't here anymore, man. What you saw was nothing but a demon. I suppose you're right. This music's a little rowdy for a funeral, now. My voice. My song. You want your songs back, don't you? If you do, you're going to have to kill those who stand in the way. You have to kill for your precious, precious songs. Let's kill them. That's... Let's crush them. Let's do it for your songs, the most precious things to you. Let's kill, 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 and then let's kill some more. You said it, didn't you? That for your songs you'd sacrifice anything. For my songs. Yes, for my songs. Ah, wonderful, wonderful, the best, the rock queen! <laughs> Please stop. Please don't do this anymore. I'm begging you. Your voice, your songs. I know this isn't what they were for. I'm begging you, Elena. Enough already. Enough. Elena, please. Please. Elena, just open your eyes and look at me. You can do it. <sighs> Elena, you just hang in there a little longer. I'll get a doctor for you. My record. 
What did you say, Elena? I can't hear you. Uh oh, it was you, wasn't it? I can't believe it. You still had my record. Tim? Oh, Tim. Of course. Because it's... Because you're truly the greatest. I wish we could be... together again. A tribute to the spirit of the queen. What would you ask for if you could have your wishes granted? Would you ask to be rich? Or to have the woman you're in love with be yours? You can wish for whatever you want. It's your business. But to have one's wishes come true always comes with a price. Every deal has a catch. You better be nice and careful. Next mission. Wishes come true.
Three of a kind. Sorry, but it looks like I take this hand. Lady Luck's a pal of mine, you know. Well, I guess I'll be taking these. Huh? A full house. Sorry there, loser, but it looks like old Lady Luck is my best friend this game. Well, I guess I'll be taking these. <sighs> You're pretty good, aren't you? Okay, fine. I'll play another hand with you. Come on, no more cards. More importantly, you now owe me ten ice cream cones, you know. I want you to buy them now! You'll make yourself sick if you eat all ten at once. How about one a month? What are you talking about? You don't even have enough money to buy ice cream cones? Um, is this Devil May Cry, the detective agency that gets the job done, whatever that may be? Yeah, that's right. But that only applies when I'm in the mood. And today I'm in a lousy mood, so get lost. What do you say? You better buck up, get to work, and earn some ice cream money. Welcome! Please come in. I'll make you some tea. I see. So you want me to rescue your older brother? Arrested on false charges. Likely story. That's correct. What was the charge? Uh, a charge of murder? But there's no way my older brother would have done something like that. To begin with, the man who died, Claude, was my brother's best friend. I wonder. <sighs> Sometimes the better the friends, the deeper the hatred. That's not true! My brother was the last... You have any proof? <gasps> but I don't... Go home. <sighs> this is like the stupid mother who keeps insisting that her child would never do anything like that. There's nothing I trust less than sentimental feelings like those. To begin with, do you even have any money? I don't come cheap, you know. Ten ice cream cones should about cover things. You can take this in exchange. It's pretty. No, thanks. I only work for cash, lady. Huh? What does she think she's doing? Well, I guess we've accepted her payment. Hey, anyone here? Yep. One strawberry Sunday. We don't have treats for the kiddies here. I didn't think you would. I can never get them in places like this. But man, business is slow around here, isn't it? Yeah. To tell you the truth, I can't find any customers since that incident. What a way to run a restaurant. Tell me everything you know about that incident. Who are you anyway, a detective? Some kind of cop? It doesn't matter either way. You tell me that story, and I'll tell you a secret that'll have customers lined up out the door. I still can't believe it. Gary and Claude were best friends. <clears throat> yes! Well, it seems Carrie was on a losing streak. All of a sudden, I heard this really loud scream. It's all my fault. This is all my fault. It's this all my fault. fault. So you're telling me that's what this scary guy kept saying? Yeah, that was taken as a confession and he was arrested. There were no other customers here after all, and Claude's whole body was just melted away. He'd have thought it was the work of a demon. Hmm. So, don't suppose you have any idea where this Kerry guy is now? Well, the last I heard, they locked him in a cell at Devil's Prison. Oh, Morrison. I heard all about it. You're not actually thinking about going to Devil's Prison, are you? Well, what if I am? Here's some friendly advice. Just forget about it. There's a rumor that no one's ever gone in there and come out alive. Supposedly worse than hell. That's the word on the street anyway. I doubt even you can make it out of there. I'll take that bet. Why the hell would I do that? It's not like I'd get any money from you even if I won. Hey, how about that secret that'll have customers lined up out the door? Try putting strawberry sundaes on the menu. Are you serious? <laughs> huh? <laughs> you suck! 
son of a bitch! What do you think you're doing, asshole? Just taking out the trash. Gotta keep the town clean, you know. Don't you dare mess with us! <laughs> This is a real nice place you got here. Person could probably take a good nap and not be bugged by anyone. It'll be a long nap, all right. You probably get to nap for the rest of your life. You know a guy named Kerry Marquez? He's a buddy of mine. That guy's in a special cell block for committers of heinous crimes. A special cell block, you say? I bet they serve great food there. You'll be in a normal cell block for having committed property damage and infliction of personal injury. Don't worry, though. No matter what kind of cell you're in, Devil's Prison is Devil's Prison. Must be a real bad apple if you're carrying all this stuff. Oh, those are just a few of my accessories. I just made a little mistake in regard to their size. <laughs> well, don't you look cute and talk cute. And this firm body of yours, so delicious. You be a good boy and do like I tell you, and I won't do anything mean to you. <laughs> ah! oh! You're the one who looks delicious, you pudgy fuck. <laughs> Being all marbled with fat and all. <laughs> Special cell! Throw him in a high security cell! There should be some guy in here by the name of Kerry Marquez. You know? Who are you? Oh, my dear. I'm here because someone out there believes you're innocent. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Because you and I are going to be killed any minute now. Oh? Well, why don't you just give me the real story? So I'll have something to think about on my way to the other side. I've told this story so many times, but no one has ever believed me when I told them the truth. Who can blame them? Like anyone's gonna believe that a demon was responsible. A demon? Yeah. I didn't even believe it, that something like that was even possible. I shall grant you a wish. What is the problem? I said I will grant you a wish. Tell me what you want. You don't have a wish. Any wish will do. This is a rare chance for you. Do you mean what you're telling me? You'll grant me anything that I want? Yes, tell me now. Okay, then give me money, lots. I want to be the richest man in the world. No way. Okay, then give me unlimited power. I want to be the most powerful man in the world. No, it wouldn't benefit you. Okay, I want beautiful women. I want all the women in the world to be mine. No, I'm not interested. Huh. I guess there are some pretty smart-ass devils out there, huh? So tell me, in the end, what was the wish this demon granted you? In the end? Well, he definitely gave me what I wished for. Sorry, looks like I went again there, Carrie. Oh, come on, man. Let's play one more game. Hey, hey, give it a rest there, will you? I gotta be getting to work soon. Catch you next time. Sure, just up and Later. run after you win. Drop dead, you bastard. I shall grant you a wish. Uh -huh. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> your wish 
has been granted. Oh, oh my god. What the hell have I done? What's going on? Huh? What happened to him? It's my... It's my fault. I killed him. I... I... Of course I wasn't serious when I told him to die. But that bastard, he killed my friend. And now I'm being punished for the crime. I understand what you're saying, pal. And I have to say that I believe your little story. The only thing left to do is to get us out of this hellhole. Well... I wonder how we'll do that. I'm telling you, it's impossible. This place is worse than hell. <laughs> it's starting again. Attention all prisoners. It's time for a little game of tag. If you don't want to die, I suggest you run! What's this all about? Run! It's a game of tag, run! but it's not just the game. If they catch you, they kill you. The guards on us like game. <laughs> I told you I'd make you my little bitch, didn't I? <laughs> So, I take it that these are the demons taking possession of your twisted desires. Well, what pretty jewels. I bet they'd be perfect for decorating my room. I shall grant you a wish. Huh? I'll grant you a wish. <laughs> well, you're definitely not your typical devil. What is the problem? Tell me what you okay. want. I might as well give it a shot. I'll take eternal youth so I can remain flawlessly beautiful if you don't mind, my new friend. No way. How about all the priceless jewels in the world? I'd like to try bathing in a tub filled with them. No, I'm not interested. Well, can I at least have a nice dress or something? No, it won't benefit you. So what the hell good are you then? Time for you to die, buddy. Enough. You guys are criminals. Tag, you gotta be kidding me. I just reported this to the police headquarters. Wh what? This time judgment will be passed on you. And don't any of you lowlifes even think about trying to run away. This place is an inescapable hell, right? Uh, you're a fucking idiot. We run this place. We know how to get out. All right, open the gate. Uh, open it, I said. My thanks. Yep, nothing like the air on the outside. You, you bastard! I'll raise. I take it your presence here would indicate that you've escaped from Devil's Prison. Very impressive. I guess. Well, I'll raise you too then. So what happened in jail? Call. Uh, it's a long story. Full house. Huh? Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm sorry too. Royal straight flush. Hmm. Aren't you holding one too many cards there, cowboy? Yeah, I threw in an extra as a bonus. Knock it off, you fucking cheater. You know you just got busted. You can go to hell for all I care. I shall grant your wish. It's him. He's the one who... Oh, what a good boy. I'm surprised you come to me and save me the trouble. Lady, who is this dude? You got me. 
Some generous mass that'll grant you any wish. in hell. I'm begging you, spare me. Sorry about that. Not my style. Do it, Captain. Kill him. What's wrong? Will you spare me or not? The next line is, it wouldn't benefit you. You know that. I'll take this. <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything less of you, Dante. You really are strong. I can't help but respect you. You? What kind of scheme are you cooking up? Well, you'll find out sometime. One should always save the fun part for last. <laughs> Don't you worry about it, Dante. All things come to those who wait. Yes, yes, yes. So, what are you gonna do now? Nobody's gonna call you a liar anymore. You've been cleared of suspicion and your innocence is proven. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me. But maybe the world would be better off if I were in prison. Locked away for the rest of my living days. What do you mean by that? Do you still feel responsible for your friend's death? It's not just that. My younger sister's dead because of me, too. Her name was Lynn. She's always been frail. But when I got arrested, she was stricken with worry and her condition went downhill. She must resent me. So, tell me, would your sister happen to have sapphire-colored pigtails? Yeah. <laughs> your younger sister doesn't resent you. That ring. I bought that very same ring for my sister, Lynn. How did you get the ring I gave her? The person who hired me didn't pay me with money. She gave me that ring and told me, please save my older brother. But I just don't understand. How can that be? See ya. <laughs> I got you! Today I want my ten ice cream cones! Just one. No way! Well, how about another game of poker? No, I'm not interested.
Everyone has a past. The problem is that people's pasts aren't always picture perfect. When you decide to confront your sordid past, have you been able to dispel the darkness? Or have you been living the same way, committing the same sins? Or have you redeemed your mistakes? In other words, I shouldn't have anything to worry about. Next mission, Once Upon a Time. Get up, Dante. What time is it? My deepest apologies for being so late to our little get-together. I'm afraid that our client's train broke down along the way. Anthony? Huh? It's me. I'm Ernest. Don't say you don't remember me. How about you tell me how it's possible you remember someone you've never met before? Just the way you speak. I'd know that cranky attitude anywhere. There's no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. I can understand why you'd rather not remember all of that. That was a terrible event. But at last, at long last, I can clear you and your mother's names. I found irrefutable evidence that it was all caused by a demon. There's no doubt, Dante. You gotta believe me. Really? What is this all about? <sighs> you were late, and then what you brought wasn't a job. And tell me, what the heck was that guy talking about? I thought you'd be interested. Well, he's seen a bunch of stuff like that. Hmm. Twenty years ago, in a small port town called Morris Island, there was a fire that wiped out the whole town. The majority of the townspeople died in the fire, leaving only a few survivors. But afterwards, some of the survivors gave testimonials saying that a demon had attacked the town before the fire broke out. They investigated, talked to eyewitnesses who swore they saw it, and none of these people's statements contradicted each other. Everything checked out. But nobody would believe their stories. I suppose not. That guy who was here was one of those survivors. As was this Anthony character. And his mother lived through it, too. What was this whole clearing their names thing about? All the people in Morris Island said that Anthony's mother was somehow responsible for setting that fire. Needless to say, they weren't very nice to Mom. So, what ended up happening to their mother? She took young Tony and they fled from the town. And so this guy seems to think I was this... Uh, Anthony. Maybe you are. Ah, ridiculous. What would make you think that I could be this guy anyway? Got a call the other day. 
Someone's saying, I want you to arrange a meeting for me with Anthony, the mm. devil hunter. And you're the only devil hunter that I know around here. Dante, you sure the name Anthony doesn't ring any bells for you? Welcome home, Anthony, old pal. Your buddy Morrison called me up and told me you were coming. I'm glad you've come back to us at last, Anthony. You can think that, but that's not what I'm doing here. Yeah, I know that. But I'm still so glad that you've come back here. Come on, it's this way. I've said it before, and I'll say it again, I'm not Anthony. <laughs> I can understand wanting to keep your name on the down low here, but you don't have anything to worry about. There aren't many left here that know what happened 20 years ago, so just relax, will you? No one around here remembers, so that I get treated as an eccentric, because I want to clarify what really happened. I don't care one way or the other. Who was it? So tell me, who's the one who told you about me? Very few people know what it is that I actually do. Oh, you mean about being a demon hunter? I just happened to hear about it in one of the circus tents. All right, take me to that circus tent. Huh? Uh, okay, then. Of course, it's you. Is this the game you want to play? Why would you pull a gun here? Just saying a little hello. Man, you've really got some attitude. What happened? Listen, Anthony, it looks like the circus is on holiday today. Let's get out of here. I know that our teacher, our teacher will be so happy to see you. Your teacher? <laughs> if you want to play, Come looking for me. <laughs> Miss Margaret, I knew you'd be happy to see Anthony again. Anthony. Sorry to disappoint you, lady. This guy just keeps calling me that. <laughs> it seems like Anthony doesn't want anybody to know who he really is. Well, can you really blame him? So, Anthony, how is your mother doing? She's dead. She's been dead for a long time. Really? Sad to hear that. At that time, I wished I could have helped your mother through some suffering and sadness that she endured. She was so despondent in the end. Miss Margaret. I think you should know, right now, Anthony's working as a demon hunter. I see. You've really come a long way, haven't you? Good for you. Miss Margaret, you think it's okay if we tell Anthony right now, don't you? Of course. That's why we had him come here, after all, Tim. We want to atone for our sins of having made your mother suffer so much. We've lived with it for too long now. What the hell are you talking about? I told you all this before that I finally found the evidence we've been looking for. That the destruction of the town wasn't caused by a person, it was all caused by a demon.
ruins? Yes. You're not planning to summon the demon from the ruins, are you? Oh, you're good. You see through my whole plan, don't you? So, did your buddy in the circus tent happen to tell you about that, too? The oh. hidden meaning of the town ruins. How some people are able to summon the demon there. The trustworthy guy who gave you the idea that I'm Tony, he told you everything. What exactly is wrong with that? I mean, I really did get to see you, after all, Anthony. Do you know how long I've waited? Don't you see the important things clearing your and your mother's names? Brings back memories, doesn't it? Well, the celebratory toast's a little delayed, but here's to seeing you again, Anthony. Hmm. What? Oh, Ernest, you're back already? Welcome home. Let me introduce you. This is my wife, Elise. Oh, my. Uh, he's a lot bigger than you made him out to be in your stories. Well, of course he is, honey. Every story I've ever told you is from when me and Anthony were just little kids. Time waits for no one. Oh, I guess you're right. Sorry. Oh, and I'll start preparing dinner. You don't have to do that right now. You just got back from work. Stay and have a drink with us. But darling... Why don't you just slow down, relax, have a little chat with Anthony, okay? I'm so sorry. This is the first time Ernest has ever introduced me to one of his close friends. Well, you don't have to worry too much about me, lady. I'm used to the idea of being alone. Everyone in this town says that Ernest is eccentric. Even his students call him strange. Even after all the work he's done in this community trying to emulate Miss Margaret and become one of the town's most respected teachers. So how about you tell me what you think, Elise? Me? I wish he would just forget the horrors of his past, that's all. So tell him that. <gasps> I have. I don't know how many times. The truth is, even he was on the verge of giving up. Miss Margaret has fallen sick and all. But then one day he came home ecstatic, saying that he could clear up that event that happened 20 years ago and that he would be able to meet you. In his mind, you are something special. He was always saying, Tony is the most wonderful guy. Once he gets to talking about you, he could go on all night long and still have more to tell. I know everything there is to know about you. Oh, wait. There is one thing I don't know about you. It's probably none of my business. And I really don't mean to pry, Anthony. But if you could just tell me about the promise you two made? The promise? Yes. He says there's no way I can break a promise with Anthony. So the only thing he won't tell me even now is the location of that treasure box you two buried together. <laughs> it's probably hidden somewhere right in front of your eyes. You know how kids think. So you really aren't... you're not him, are you? Do me a favor, even if it's just while you're here in town. Please, just pretend to be Anthony. I'm no see. <laughs> I went to the trouble to see you at the circus in the afternoon, but your manners are sadly lacking. I thought about saying something, but by then you were gone. What could I do? <laughs> well, shall we get right down to business and pick up where we left off? Easy, easy, easy. Hold your horses. I did this for your benefit. That old woman and young boy have been snooping around the ruins. I thought, boy, this is dangerous. They should be very careful. So I nicely had the shrimp call you over. You understand? So if you got the motivation, why not just take care of the dangerous demon at the ruins yourself? That's crazy talk. I tried to make it a point to only fight poor weaklings. If this doesn't concern you at all, you could have just not come. 
I just wanted to see your ugly face one last time. You're so scary. In the end, you were drawn here by the smell of a devil, weren't you? <laughs> oh. Tony, you sure are an early riser, aren't you? I'll put some coffee on. Don't do it. Don't try to summon that demon. Uh, what are you saying? Tell me, what are you planning to do if you are actually able to summon the demon? If humans were capable of defeating them, that tragedy that happened 20 years ago never would have happened. Or have you been relying on me from the beginning? I have no intention of asking for your help, Anthony. Don't play tougher than you are. I can lower my fees if you need be. Don't worry about it. I'm ready. That thing won't even serve as a security blanket. Does Elise have any idea what you're planning to do? This has nothing to do with her. You have to understand, Tony. This problem concerns me as well, man. That's Anthony, isn't it? How do you know? You were just here yesterday. You came alone today. He's at school. I see. Tell me where those ruins are. Pardon? Ernest is planning on summoning that demon. He wants to clear you and your mother's names of the accused crime. No, <gasps> you're wrong. Anthony. Margaret, I'm not Anthony. When I was a little kid, there were times when I used to go by that name. But I'm not the Anthony you and Ernest are looking for. My name is Dante. Don't worry, I'll keep up this little charade. I promise you. As long as I'm in this town, I'll play his friend, Anthony. You just tell me where I can find those ruins. So, do we have a deal, Margaret? Twenty 
years ago. The reason that demon attacked our town is that it... He... He wanted you. Oh. Where's the demon? It's all right now. There are no demons. I saw one, Elise. <laughs> How did I wind up in the hospital? You collapsed at the ruins, and so Dante brought you here. Dante? Dante? Tell me where he is, Elise! He just left. Wait! You demon! Stop it, Ernest. He's not who you think. He's not Anthony. Bastard! If you hadn't been here, none of the people in this goddamn town would have died. It's all your fault, you murderer! That demon destroyed this town looking for you, you son of a bitch! Oh, Ernest. You deceived me and Miss Margaret. I'll never forgive you! Neither will those who die. Do you hear me? Don't you ever come back here again! If you ever do, I'll kill you for sure! I saw it all. Humans really are such selfish, self-centered little creatures, aren't they? They're more horrid than demons. If you hadn't been there, that town would be getting devoured by demons right about now. And there would be an ocean of blood. What are you trying to do? <laughs> Something that'll be of use to you, Dante. <laughs> I don't mind gambling. For one thing, the tension of those win-lose situations is similar in some ways to the feeling I get when I hunt demons. In the end, I guess I just can't be satisfied with a normal life. But a person should never do anything excessively. There's nothing more stupid than gambling oneself into debt. Even worse, if you go as far as to lose your own life. Don't miss the next mission. Death poker.
now we're on a ship. This is the renowned official casino ship of Port Burlington. Along with the casino, there are restaurants, a pool bar, a health spa, and everything else you could ever want. All those people are all gamblers? Oh, no. Most of them are just moderately rich with too much free time and looking to have a night of dreams and excitement. By the way, where is Dante? I don't see him anywhere. This way. My apologies, but I believe this hand is mine. Three of a kind. Damn it. Well, no big deal. This game's just getting underway. The fun's just beginning. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. The longer one gambles, the more interesting it becomes. The same as a kiss. <laughs> if you're able to beat me, I'll give you a nice long kiss, the likes of which you've never experienced. <laughs> now that's something to look forward to. I'd better be careful not to lose the clothes off my back. <laughs> the man who just won is Gold Arm Joe, said to have a golden arm. The woman across the table is also well known. They say that she has the luck of a goddess. She's known as Lucky Amanda. The older gentleman next to her, Santa Claus. Poker ace that they say can read people's thoughts. <laughs> All these people are trying to act so refined, but their eyes are burning with greed. All right, let's play. Please, save my husband, Paul. He likes to gamble? Yes. He was a straight and narrow man before we got married. But then it's like he became a different person all of a sudden and got addicted to gambling. Gambling is like a sickness, but there's one big difference between a gambling addiction and getting a common cold. There's no medicine they found yet to cure yourself of it. You might as well just give up on him. Please! If my husband goes on like this, he could be killed! Come on. Hey, don't be so cold, Dante. Huh? You know, you should always be nice to the ladies. Or try to. I know it may not sound like it, but this job could be up your alley. Next, please. Pass. Mm -hmm. Raise. I'll raise you 500. Fold. I'm dropping L2. No call. Call. Three of a kind. Nothing. Sorry, kids, full house. <laughs> well, if the night keeps up like this, I'll be going home with a bag full of money again. I see. So that's why you're Santa Claus. It's a clever nickname. Thank you. When tonight's game is over, why not let me treat you to breakfast? 
Sure. That is, as long as you're not thrown out by them for being flat broke. <laughs> we have quite a collection of inflated egos here, don't we? By the way, have any of you heard of a gambler known as King? Yes, one hears of him quite a lot as of late. Apparently he's supposed to be a gambler from hell who takes the lives of his opponents. Oh, nothing but silly rumors. They most definitely are. However, it is true that a certain number of gamblers have died after losing to this mysterious individual. Some say he's a white-bearded elderly man. Others say King is a charming, beautiful woman. But the truth is that no one knows for sure what he or she looks like. But still, if such a person actually exists, what would you give to play a hand or two with this remarkable competitor? Hmm? King? Yes. It's said he's a gambler who brings death. There have been a number of well-known gamblers who've recently gone missing. The only common thread is... They all went out to play cards, and then they never came back. Before long, there were rumors all over the city with people saying that anyone plays this king will end up dead. Hmm. So this king could be a demon. Is that what you're saying, Morrison? If that's true, I guess I gotta gamble with the demon. You'd probably be better off not doing that. Do you even remember how much money you owe me right now? I mean, you totally suck at gambling. <laughs> because I'm nice to the women when I play. Hey, Dante, when are you going to pay out for the game you lost to me earlier? Well, I'm nice to the women and children. But how do I find a guy when I don't even know what he looks like? If I just play cards wherever, this will take forever. An infinite amount of money. Shut your face. A letter? It's an invitation to that luxury cruise ship turned casino operating in the next town over. It was sent by King. Huh? Since he went to the trouble to invite us, it would be bad form not to accept. And since you'll be going anyhow, you can grant that woman's request. You did say you're nice to women and children, didn't you? Damn. <laughs> I don't know who this King guy is, but he seems like one stuck-up son of a bitch. That is, if anyone's asking me. But it's interesting. If King is really here among us, and I beat him, my reputation will soar even higher. Yeah, King is among us. I have a feeling we'll all eventually find out. <laughs> Three thousand. Fold. I'm out. I fold as well. I don't have enough chips. Huh. Well then, I guess you'll just have to sit there and watch quietly. I'll raise. I'll raise five thousand. Oh, the game is on. Hey, you. <laughs> You're shaking like a leaf. Don't you think it's better for you to go home? Before you make your pretty wife cry... Leave me alone. Just be quiet. Let's just see your hand. Hmm. He's holding three of a kind. His face-down card could give him a full house. Just to be safe. All right, let's play. I'm all in. Well, it's time for a showdown, then. Full house. Of a kind. I, I did it! I, I won! I won! <laughs> That's not. Sir? Oh, he's dead. Could this possibly mean that you're king? No. What are you saying? I'm. I'm just take it easy. Let's take a deep breath. Miss, call the person in charge. And I'd like a hot cappuccino, please. Right away, sir. Wherever King appears, that place is governed by death's rule. Maybe the rumors are true. I wonder. If you're scared, you should just go home, get in bed, and go to sleep. Well, aren't we arrogant? Maybe you're King. Maybe I am. But we'll know the truth soon enough, and I'll bet the reveal will be the most fun of the night. You can have your fun, but don't you think you're the most likely to go broke next? <laughs> the real pleasure of gambling is turning the tables completely right in the final moments of the game. What are you talking about? Huh? You're losing just like we predicted, aren't you? You're totally hopeless without me. I'll take over from here. Hey, Patty. <laughs> Interesting. It's best to teach them just how cruel the world can be while they're still young. Uh, 
What are you... I didn't expect to see you here. I heard there was a big poker tournament on this ship, and, and I just had to come. Are you that worried? I'm jealous. It's okay. Your husband hasn't lost anything. He'd probably be better off not doing that. So you're not going to go and see how he's doing? No. It's not like I could get him to stop anyway. All right, then. here for kids games so you can lose the pompous attitude until you beat me deal the cards what the hell what's patty doing here well now that she's here there's nothing we can do about it Shit. so tell me genius have you figured out who this king is exactly not yet i'd say he's a clever one i guess the only thing we can do is keep winning I guess so but you know it's a risky bet but that's what gambling's all about now isn't it be careful sure Come on, honey, make up your mind. Are you in or are you out? <laughs> you seem to have an aptitude, but you've got a long way to go. Time for a substitution. Hey, what's going on? I was just getting warm. This is my job. Uh, nice work, Patty. I played it safe like you told me, but these people are good. Dante's going to get eaten alive. That I don't doubt at all, but Dante's got a job to do, and that's a game he never loses. The only thing we can do now is sit around, pray he succeeds, and have a cup of coffee. Fine then, but I'll take tea, because coffee's way too bitter for me. Okay, okay. I fold. Hmm. Two pairs, eh? She's the only one who seems to have a decent hand. With those cards, she could have three of a kind. If she does, I'm finished. She always plays with her hair when she's bluffing. She's not holding three of a kind. It's a bluff. I'll raise 8,000 and call. I fold. I fold. <laughs> Very smart, boys. Hold on. Hmm? I'll raise 15,000 and call. I'm all in. Hmm. Trying to bring me down with a bluff. I see right through you, young lady. Fine. It's on. I'm all in. Oh, too bad. Looks like I got you, Grandpa. Three of a kind. I win. So you did get me. Looks like senility is setting in for me. Please excuse me. The loser will silently take his leave from the stage. Now we know for sure. Someone here is king. Let's continue the game. Interesting. But I won't lose out to anyone with my luck. You watch. I'll annihilate this king. It's just not normal. Don't any of these people think they can lose? Aren't they scared of dying? I win. This can't be. I'm known as Lucky Amanda. There's no way I could lose. I don't lose. That's another one. Now it's... Yeah, this is the end. Well, now, I guess it comes down to you and me, then. I didn't think you'd be left standing this long. If I beat... 
If I beat you here, that would make me king. Well, come on. Deal the cards! holding a royal straight flush. That's not... All in. You're still in your fourth card. How about we say that whatever happens next, we show down. It looks like both of us got a final attack to launch. Fine. So it's all or nothing. I accept. But I'm afraid I'm a little low on chips. If I lose, I'll pay the difference with my life. Sound good? That's a deal. Now come on, let's have it. Let's see that last card. So, it's a showdown. The King of Hearts. That's a royal straight flesh. And Dante? Straight flush. When two players have the same hand, spades win. Sarah, I'm sorry. He did it. Don't they win, Morrison? Morrison? <laughs> There's nothing in this world as interesting to me as when people are gambling, especially when they're betting their lives. It's the greatest. This isn't over yet. Lady, the next game's against you. The rules are simple. Whoever gets a bullet through the other's heart first wins. Got it? Dante? Dante? Stop, Dante! Congratulations. I suppose that you're tonight's winner. It's you. So in the end, you're shot and killed by your own friend? It makes for a quite beautiful ending. Stay back. So you're the demon, this king. You're half right and half wrong. What do you mean by that? It didn't matter who played as king. Whoever held an item into which I bestowed my magic would be captivated by gambling in exchange for extraordinary luck. And that person would act as king. I wish this man had won for me, but maybe I was hoping for too much. So it was a trap from the beginning. Please don't fret. Soon you'll be as dead as he is. As will those two. And all the passengers on the ship. Sorry to spoil your party, but I'm waiting for this moment. The moment when you show your face to brag about your victory. Daddy! How did you... You're wondering if your magic failed on me? No. It worked just fine. To be honest, I only figured out what was going on by chance. That's how I figured it out. The watch was the mechanism of King. You were using this to turn regular people into King and control them, weren't you? So you were just pretending to be possessed by its magic? No, I was entirely possessed by it. I knew it was the only way to keep winning and stay in the game to the end. And ultimately, I draw you out. It was a gamble. I avoided hitting your heart as promised, didn't I? Actually, <clears throat> you grazed it a bit. Damn. I've got a lesson for you. Successful gambling is something you can't do without an accomplice. Well, 
my mind, you're a tough one. Okay then, how about something like this? Dante! Plan? You letting yourself be possessed, then having Lady snap you out of it if push came to shove? Hey, I said I was sorry already, didn't I? And don't sweat the small stuff, kid. Come on, you guys. Let's do this. Sure are confident. Must have some good cards there. Hmm. I'll pass this time. I'll take three. All right. Let's see who's got what. A full house. Hey, like that. Royal Street Flush. I win. We'll just add your losses to your debt. <laughs> Damn. The hell with this. My father betrayed demonkind and fought for mankind. From the human perspective, he's a legendary hero. In the minds of the demons, he's the perpetrator of an unforgivable crime. But there may have been some demons out there who could understand my father's thinking. If there really is such a demon out there, I'd sure like to meet him. Next mission, The Last Promise. Get the wrong idea, pal. I just targeted a demon, that's all. A white demon.
You did! You definitely promised me! Like hell I did. Yes, you did. You said you'd take me to the ocean. What the hell do you want to do at the ocean? Play, obviously. Go swimming, get sunburned, eat good food, that stuff. You can do that stuff anywhere. Doing it at the ocean is what gives it meaning. Okay, fine. Really? I'll lend you the car so you can go by yourself. <laughs> yeah, right, whatever. If I could drive myself, there's no way I'd ask you. What was that? I dare you to say that again. Please don't misunderstand me. I just... Shut up and get the hell out of here! Thanks for waiting. What's going on with them? Oh, that guy at the bar said that the boss's strawberry sundaes weren't very good. Strawberry sundaes? Like this? If I offended you, I apologize. I only meant to say that using slightly less sugar would make them... Shut your face, you little bastard! I don't even want your money. Hurry Hold up on and... there, Freddy. Just a sec. <clears throat> I've got something of an attachment to the Sundays here myself. But they seem to be sweeter than usual today. That man is right. I'm afraid I have to agree with him. <laughs> he got all moody. Well, beneath that gruff exterior, he's just a softy. It seems I've hurt his feelings. You're right, I'm a demon. And what might you be? <laughs> That's right. I'm also... Are you still breathing? I've got a question for you. Do you know anything about the white demon that's been showing its face around here? No. Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. I, don't... I was lying. I was lying. I know who you're talking about. They call that guy Sparta's apprentice. Apprentice? Yes, that's right. He's supposed to be a really tough demon. And the rumor is that when he takes the sword in his hand, thousands of demons get killed in a split second. So you called me here to pass the word on. Is that it? That's right. Well, that's unusually kind of you, if you ask me. I just thought I'd give you a little heads up. It'd be such a pity if I ended up killing him instead of you. There's a lot of history between you two. Am I right? <laughs> Maybe so. Sorry, but he asked for me my name. I won't let anyone interfere. A demon who fought to protect the human world. My mentor. Sparta, the Dark Knight. It's been 2,000 years since that battle. And now the one who has appeared before us is not you, but your son, Dante. Why do you 
nice guy or a meanie? You're opposite of Dante. Opposite? Yep. Because I can't tell if Dante's a meanie or a nice guy. <laughs> so in the end, you can't tell. Oh, I do know one thing. Both of you guys love strawberry sundaes, even though you're grown-ups. <laughs> People watching. Sure do have a lot of time. It's pretty peaceful, huh? Yes. It really is peaceful. I'd like to have times like these forever. Lord Modius always seems so placid. I can hardly believe that the two of you are twins. But really, what a waste. I wonder why Lord Modius abandoned swordsmanship. I'm told that long ago his skill with the sword was great enough to make the whole demon world tremble. Well, I suppose he felt he could never even hope to beat you, so he decided to just give up. Right, Lord Paul? <laughs> Sparta entrusted his true strength and will to Modius, not to me. L Lord Ball, I can't breathe! <laughs> what would the likes of you know about my brother and me? <laughs> oh, I know what you have in mind. You intend to go there, don't you? To the Devil May Cry Agency. Isn't that your plan, my friend? <laughs> and get this, Dante eats nothing but pizza every day. What do you think of an adult who acts like that? Well, it's not for me. If I were going to date someone, no way would it be a guy like that. He's lucky if he gets one job a week. Oh, Dante runs an odd job business called the Devil May Cry. But no matter how many jobs Morrison brings, he just screws them up. And it's a real problem. And it seems like he owes Lady a lot of money, too. Honestly, Dante is just so... Oh, no, I'm on dinner duty today. If I don't get back quick, the head of the orphanage will yell at me. Well, I'm off. Strawberry Sunday. <laughs> what a cute little girl. Yes, she is. No doubt that girl will grieve too. If Dante should end up dead. <laughs> <laughs> Go off to train in the mountains or something? Dante isn't here. Who is he? Why? You're a
opponent is Sparta, isn't he? So why would you fight Dante? Sparta's dead. He's alive. I'm so did you find it or not? Proof that he is still alive. I waited 2,000 years, but Sparta did not appear. And so you're going after Sparta's son, Dante? That's right. If I get his soul, I'll also get the Dark Knight Sparta's power. So you insist on this? Yes. Then there's no help for it. In that case... If you insist on this, then please do it after you've defeated me. I have no desire to battle someone who's abandoned the way of the sword. When he gets back, tell him to come to me. I see. A duel with me, huh? Please, Robin. My brother should not fight you. And you... What could you have to gain by fighting him? Even if I don't have anything to gain, he does, doesn't he? Because word is that if he gets my soul or whatever, he'll get the same powers as my old man. I don't know who spread that rumor, but in the end, your brother's just another one of those losers who wants to capture it. Another one with dreams of becoming king of the demon world. Am I right? You don't understand anything about my brother. He just wants to fight someone strong. He has no intentions of becoming king and ruling over the demon world. What about you? In truth, don't you want it even more than your brother does? Wanting my soul? When someone picks a fight with me, I give it to him. That's the only reason I fight. I can't, no man. Let's settle this thing fast before I catch a cold. What's wrong? Maybe you're too scared. To do anything without your little brother, said it. <laughs> well, this makes me happy. I've always wanted to know what a swordsman trained by my father would be like, and now I got the chance. My father's sword work isn't that great. <sighs> How about making this a little more fun for me?
What's wrong? You done already? I must not. <laughs> Who's here in this place for the sake of Modius? Modius, who gave up the sword for me? <coughs> I cannot. <coughs> I must not. Be defeated! So, you're finally showing your true nature, huh? Thousand years ago, when the demon and human worlds were connected, Sparta, my brother, and I made a promise. We promised we'd each live true to our aspirations and carry them out. Soon afterwards, Sparta came to this land all alone to protect the human world. And my brother never aligned himself with either world, merely waiting devotedly for Sparta to return. Yes, dueling with Sparta. The best swordsman in the demon realm was his only reason for living. I abandoned my sword. It had begun to disgust me. It created nothing. It could even rob my brother of his reason to live. And since I killed your reason to live, now your only reason to keep living is to take revenge against me. You guys couldn't be any more old-fashioned. Kind of pathetic if you ask me. I swear, that lazy Dante. Wake up, Dante! Ah, uh, shut up. What the heck do you want? Today I'm making a special strawberry sundae for that man in the black coat. Sheesh. No matter how much I clean up this place, you mess it right up again. I don't think you'll come. Huh? Why not? A promise. Promise? That's right. He said he remembered a promise he made. An old promise to someone. A long, long time ago, Patty. <laughs> it's all going according to plan. Ah! <laughs> this is what I want. Now there's only one more thing left. <laughs>
You hear news about parents abusing their children all the time. But I still feel like I want to keep believing that parents love their children unconditionally. My mother died protecting me. Maybe that's why. I apparently have some humanity in me, too. And maybe Patty's mother abandoned Patty because circumstances made it unavoidable. Next mission. Showtime. Tinder, hit me again. <laughs> Here alone? What do you say? Want to come with me after this? Thank you. Hey, that was cold. You didn't have to ignore me. You really shouldn't involve yourself with me. Huh? See, I told you not to get involved. again tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yep, tomorrow. I bet they'll be magically cleaned up. Huh? That's probably because I cleaned them up. Well, that's another way of putting it. Uh, <laughs> oh. Hurry and clean up already! Uh, uh, okay, fine. Jeez, what's with you? Did your parents raise you to respect your elders? No, th that's not what I meant by that. Just, oh, hey, you! Oh! Hey, wait. Dante, you jerk! We'll forget you! Hey, is Pat? <laughs> Made her mad again, huh? Shut up. What do you want here anyway? If you're gonna clean up, you're more than welcome to pick up the mop. You want somebody to do that? Hire a maid. You can use the pay for this job. I'd like to hire you to watch over this for a while. 
Hey, Morrison, isn't this more of a job for the coin lockers at the train station downtown? Come on, don't be so hasty. See, this is a historic heirloom that's been passed down in Miss Nina's family for generations. This pendant is priceless. She says that she inherited it when her old man died. And then in the ten years since, those who want it are out for her blood whenever they smell a chance. Hmm. Ten years. Why do you suddenly want to give it to someone after that long? <laughs> well, the attacks weren't so frequent up until now. But lately she's targeted all the time. And she's frequently been a danger. So it's time for you to step in. Hmm. Would you take this job for me? I don't want to hear any stupid answers, partner. Sure, all right. I wasn't doing much this week anyway. I'll take on the job for you. That jerk Dante. He just has no delicacy. Jeez, he doesn't have any parents either. alone, Cindy. You know that. Now, now. Girls that age get hurt real easily. Hurry up and apologize to Shorty and make friends again. <laughs> it's not really any of your business. How about you just roll over there and bring me the usual, will ya? Okay. Now well, let's take a look at this. Why the long face? If you've got the time to sit here grumbling into your Sunday dish, go do some work. You still haven't paid back all you owe me. I'm doing work right now. What's this? A pendant. I can see that, you big dumbass. I'm asking you, what's with this pendant? I'm uh, a bodyguard. No, necklace guard, I guess. <laughs> Dante, that wasn't funny. Thanks for waiting. Can it really be that value? What's with you? Well, this is one thing I can't let you turn into payment on that debt. So it's hands off, lady. As if I'd take it. Keep in mind, it's not yours. Got hey. it! Even I'm not that evil to take something away from your poor broke ass. Let's see. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, work hard and pay me back soon. Later. Nice. This just isn't right. It's too late to say that. You've already handed it over to him. We just have to watch over him and see what happens. I did what you told me because you said... You said that he could handle it, but... It was getting too risky. I didn't want to let you face any more danger. And it is true. He is a man we can trust. If only I could just carry that pendant around a little longer, I would have the power to defeat lower-level demons, and I won't be so powerless. Yes, I know that. But there are no guarantees your attackers will always be easy to defend against. True, but... Huh. It looks like it's begun. My magic stone? Do you mean this? Wait. What do you think you're going to do if you go out there? Please let me go! 
Nina, stop! If I just get the magic stone, I'll have the power of my master! I don't know what you're talking about, you ugly bastard. But it's way past your bedtime, and you need to get some shut up, shithead. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Man, I thought I'd be able to have a little more fun there. What? Came here to cheer me on. Too bad. Things just ended. Well, you're pretty wicked, aren't you? By not telling me the whole story. That it wasn't a bunch of jewel thieves who were after your necklace. It was a bunch of demons. You defeated the demon? This type of thing is my specialty, you see. So, you gonna tell me who your buddy is? An old friend. My name is Simon. Simon's the one who told me about you. He told me there was an odd jobs man who would even protect a demon summoning pendant. But please give it back. I just can't let strangers be put in danger because of me. Sure thing. How about you pay me for the work I've done up until now? Yes, I'll pay you tomorrow. Fine. Then tomorrow's when I'll return this to you. All right. I'll come to your office tomorrow. Wait, Mommy! <gasps> Mommy, wait! Patty? Take you home. Just come to the office tomorrow like you always do. That woman you think who's your mother is supposed to show up with my pay. I know she's my mother! I know she is! <sighs> so you think you can take me any time, huh? Your conceit will be the death of you, Dante. <laughs> Come on, Patty. Just cheer up already and start cleaning. <laughs> Whatever. Never mind. Hmm. Man, she's really late. I thought I told her the right time. This new client better be trustworthy, Morrison. What are you saying? You trusted her enough to tell her to bring your pay here. That's not what I mean. And you know it. You're wondering whether she might be a demon herself. I'll grant you that she just so happened to leave out the fact that the crew out for her priceless necklace were demons. This whole time, she seemed like a normal human to me. I mean, she's even renting a fancy hotel room here in the human world. All normal like. And what hotel would that be? The Grand Dia Hotel, if memory serves. <sighs> Please, don't make this place any more of a mess than it is. You're not one to talk, Dante. Hey! What's with Patty? I thought she wanted to see Nina. Beats me, man. She probably remembered some soap opera or game show she wanted to watch. <laughs> She's a hopeless brat. <laughs> Dante, get the telephone. <sighs> Jeez, what a pain. Devil may cry. Oh, it's you. What are you saying? Are you sure about that? Of course. I came all the way out to the public library to confirm it. If you need them, I'll collect the references for you, too. Yeah, good idea. Thanks, I'm counting on you. Was that Nina? No, it wasn't Nina. It was more about Nina's necklace. Uh-huh. Hey, Morrison, what'd you do with the pendant? Huh? <laughs> Mommy! Patty. 
Simon. Come in. Thanks. Perfect timing. I have a favor to ask of you. A favor? I'd like you to go to that odd job man's place now and get back the pendant in exchange for this pay. You can just go yourself. I don't want to go. Because that patty girl might be there, perhaps? I can't be with her. You should know that. Yes. Yes, you're right. Oh, did you do something to your hand? Nothing, really. I just spilled some coffee this morning. But you said... I thought you told me you couldn't stand coffee. Oh. Was that right? You... the deal. Never mind. Just drive faster. You got it. <sighs> Are you awake? <laughs> Who are you? A good question. What do you want? What do I want? You should know that better than anyone else. But it only means anything to demons. <laughs> are you a demon? But if you are, the pendant should react to you. True, that stone reacts to the powers of demons. But when the demon's power is just too weak, it doesn't have much of an effect. My powers are extremely weak. I'm a demon with no power. As you can see, to take human form, I have to actually wear human skin. <laughs> then Simon is... I'm so sorry, but I threw away all the insides. <laughs> That's how it is, Nina Lowell. Now, if I get the final part, your necklace, I'll have everything I need. About the guest that's reserved the sweet. Hey! I'm telling you, we can't give out information about guests. So tell me, would you rather break some precious hotel policy of yours or have a gigantic hole in your face? Go pick them up. Pick them up? Don't play dumb with me. I know that necklace and your daughter. <laughs> I need both together or I can't complete the ceremony, right? I'm begging you. Just leave Patty out of this. Oh, leave her out of this, huh? Well, you would want that. After all, that's why you had to part ways with your own daughter. <laughs> Patty! You are. You are really my mother. Patty, run away! You really are my mother, aren't you? Patty, never mind! Just run! <laughs> <laughs> this is a happy surprise. I never imagined you'd bring that to me of your own free will. I guess that means luck has finally turned my way. <laughs> All right. Take the necklace and go stand in front of that altar. Patty, you mustn't listen to what this man is... Uh, Mommy! You keep your mouth shut. Now uh, hurry up. Otherwise... No, Patty! Get a move on. That's it. There is five. 
Now all you have to do is place that necklace on the center of the altar. Hurry. <laughs> Hurry. <laughs> Hurry. you wanted? Will you let my mommy go then? Take these two and get away from the hotel. Hey, Dante, wait! While you're at it, do me one more little favor and get everybody else out of the hotel, too! As if I can get that many out at once. Dante! I don't care! Just evacuate everyone, quickly! But I can't very well just get Get your ass in gear! <gasps> Always screwing around behind the scenes pulling cheap tricks. And I've got to confess something to you, Sid. I'm really sick of seeing your face. How about we say our goodbyes? Goodbye, dickhead. <laughs> what did you think? I'd beg for my life or something? Fool. I'm different than I was before. I'll show you. I'll show you the power of Abigail, who once rivaled the Demon King. <laughs> what in the hell just happened? My god, it's over. The world as we know it is coming to an end. Don't you go dying on me, Dante. Everything with a beginning also has an end. That's the rule. It may be sad, but looking all gloomy just because it's the end isn't my thing. Since it's the end, all the more reason to paint the town red. If you do that, you can keep smiling no matter how things pan out. Next mission. Stylish.
I'll show you the power of Abigail. <laughs> Abigail is back, sealed away no longer. The world is coming to an end. Looks like it's finally started. What's finally started, lady? <laughs> Who's Alan Lowell? Once upon a time, there was a powerful alchemist by that name. He might have been just a human, but he was also a sorcerer who just so happened to employ various demons. You mean to tell me that was Alan Lowell? Right. Lowell. There was just one demon that Alan couldn't bend to his employment. And that was Abigail. The demon said to have powers on par with the demon king. Using every bit of power he possessed, Alan successfully sealed away Abigail's powers. But to seal them away was all he did. He was unable to accomplish any more. So to prevent Abigail's powers from falling into anyone's hands, Alan constructed many magical barriers and spread them around. Barriers so tight, even a single ant couldn't pass through. Something came into being during the process of making those barriers. The magic stone. Alan's tear. You know more about that than anyone else, right? Nina Lowell? Do you know how long I protected that magic stone? It was an age-old responsibility. That pendant could unlock the seal on Abigail. All I could do was run. Run and keep on running. Why didn't you try to do anything about the pendant before you spent ten years running from all this? What was I supposed to do? Throw away a pendant that can summon the demons of hell? And yet, even if you destroyed the stone, all it would do is just break the seal. Either way, it's all over. The seal on the pendant has already been broken. With Abigail's powers on his side, no one can stop him. Because I'm afraid that Alan Lowell is no longer in this world, walking among the living anymore. <laughs> then what about Dante? It's impossible. No matter how strong he may be, there's no way he could defy Abigail's power. Hurry up and get going. Get your ass in gear and get the hell out of here. There's no point in running away. <laughs> he won't be stopped now. No one can stop him. <laughs> Looks like he's shown himself. Jesus! What is that thing? <laughs> and that would be Abigail. <laughs> Looks 
like the end of the world. Christ. Hey, hold it there, Patty. Where do you think you're going? Let me go! Let me go, lady! What are you gonna do? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to get Dante! That's crazy! You'll get I yourself don't care killed! If I do. <sighs> Patty! Wait! I'll go too! Honestly, all he does is give me trouble. I'll leave the rest to you. What do you mean by that? What do you think about placing a little bet? The two descendants of Alan Lowell. A little miracle might happen. I didn't think you're the type to believe in miracles. Huh? Yeah. In this case, I agree. I might want to start to believe in miracles myself. <laughs> that something this bad would ever happen. I just... Mommy? No, I'm sorry, Patty. I'm so sorry. Oh, my darling Patty. My poor little girl. I'm so sorry, Patty. For leaving you so alone all these years. This beats me. A little cooler in here now, huh? Like this fry isn't quite so small. Well, not small in body anyway. Ugh. Ugh. Shit! When I think about how I'm not gonna get paid for this, it just makes me wanna cry! Why not send Dante a bill when this is all done? Sure, that is, if he's still alive. Quiet, isn't it? So, what are we supposed to do? I don't know either. What do you mean you don't know? Isn't there a rite or a spell or something?
That pendant you have. contains a shard of Alan's tear. It doesn't have as much power as Alan's tear, but it should be enough magic to protect her. And it looks like he's creating these minions. So... So basically, if we don't take him out, this will just keep on going. Probably. Hey, how about lending me a hand? Huh? So basically, we just have to rely on him, is that it?
wanted to say thank you. After all, thanks to you, I was able to give enough power to rule the world. <laughs> You're no match for Dante. When he comes, he'll take you down for sure. <laughs> Dante's dead, girl. There's no way Dante would die at the hands of someone like you. Mommy, Carson? Run, Patty! You know another man as good looking as I am? The correct answer is no, by the way. Uh, Dante, you're hurt. Oh, this. It looks like a certain someone was playing a trick on me while I was having myself a nice little nap. Ah, oh, perfect timing. The rest of this show is adults only. Well, Patty, if I'm not mistaken, this is one time I might owe you a little thank you. You wait there. As a reward, I'll give him a good lashing from you. After I deliver mine, that is. Anybody who pulls pranks like this needs to be taught a lesson. Morrison, I'll leave the rest to you. Damn, you make me wait forever and then you go making selfish requests. Sorry. <laughs> It looks like it's finally going to begin. Shit. Dante sure took his sweet time. Hey, you've grown since I last saw you. I'm gonna pay you back. Make no mistake. Can you? After all, right now I have enough power to rule even the human world, let alone the demon world. I've had just about enough of your arrogant attitude, you ugly prick. <laughs> play like this is all you got? You continually disappoint me, Sid. This can't be! You can grow as big as you want. And you can get as ugly as you want. You can even get yourself world-dominating power. But I tell you, Sid... That's not it. 
It's about souls. Uh -uh. Basically, here's the story, Sid. Someone like you, who's let his soul rot, can't measure up by just getting some power. Not to someone with a real soul. That's not how it works down here. <laughs> well then, Lord Dante of the strong and gentle real soul. You'll let me live even now, won't you? Just like you have before. No can do. You went too far. <laughs> but you know, I couldn't have liked you. Y you bastard! And jackpot. You're gonna be staying with your mother from here on out. I want you to have a happy life, you got it? <sighs> hey, Morrison, drive me to the office. Your car still move, right? You're such a slave driver. I'm injured here too for your information, Dante. <laughs> Someone's in a bad mood. Patty's departure really did a number on you, huh? What do you want? Don't be stupid. There's only one reason I'd come all the way over to your office, right? Then hurry up and tell me the deal. You can cut the small talk, thank you very much. Apparently, a large number of demons have showed up in a certain country. It's a sweet job. The client's filthy rich, so the pay will be good. I hear little Patty's doing pretty well with her mom. Sorry, hot stuff, but I'm on my way to a job. I really don't have time to hang out with you right now. My, what a coincidence. We too are on our way to another job as well. I believe we're all going to the same place. So in other words... The payment for this lucrative job goes to the fastest one, of course. Fine, bring it on, ladies. Go ahead, Morrison. For it. I knew it. Really, that Dante trashes the place as soon as I'm not around. <laughs> 